Hey, welcome to the first episode of Build Different. Today we're going to be working on Cypher's trap wires from Valorant. So, this little device produces a laser that detects and reveals the position of an enemy when it goes through it. Just like that. To explain simply how it works, it uses infrared signals and a photodiode to receive it. We have one emitter and we have one receiver. These are the diagrams for the emitter and the receiver. They both use two coin cell batteries to produce about 6.3 volts. The emitter uses an Arduino Nano microcontroller and the receiver uses a circuit playground on the express. Finally, the emitter uses an infrared LED which shoots the invisible laser while the receiver has an infrared receiver installed as well as multiple RGB LEDs. In reality, this isn't just a laser, it's actually a signal and a message. The LED encodes the signal in blinks, the receiver decodes it, and in between there's a message. This message is determined in binary, or a series of zeros and ones. An everyday example of this is a TV remote and the TV itself. The remote is the emitter, the TV is the receiver, and the message that we send is an instruction. For example, if we want to raise the volume of the TV, the remote sends us a specific signal that the TV decodes, recognizes, and then the volume rises. However, what happens when there is an object that blocks this signal? This example is exactly how our prototype works, only backwards. We have an emitter and we have a receiver. However, the emitter is always sending random signals and the receiver is always expecting any signal, it doesn't matter which one. Whenever this condition breaks and the receiver fails to get a signal, which happens when an object steps and blocks the laser, the red LEDs will begin to flash, revealing the enemy. This is a quick overview of the code. On the left, we have the emitter code, which sends a random signal multiple times on a second. On the right, we have the receiver code. It uses circuit Python and a couple of libraries, but it's still very simple. It has an infinite loop that always checks for an infrared pulse. When there isn't one, a small loop runs that flashes the LED red before checking for a signal again. That's it. I 3D printed the body of the project. soldered all the electronics and then it was time to ensemble I added some magnets and they were done Setting them up is super easy, you just have to make sure that you align the laser correctly. That is a success. This range is around 1.5 meters, or 5 feet. Not bad, right? I tried to add some noise to it, but the battery died. Puta madre. 